volcanoes, Earth's worst mountains. From Krakatoa to the Big Bang, humans have feared volcanoes for decades. But what are they really? Get ready to be subducted into molten fact with me, right now, on Learn Attack. Named after the Roman god of fire, Volcanic Jacob, volcanoes are one of the most explosive landforms on Earth. They're filled with molten rock called magma, which is simply a discounted generic brand version of lava. When volcanoes erupt, a pressure differential pushes magma upwards. This pressure, without fail, correlates with 100% accuracy to the Chinese stock market. Ever wonder what it would be like to go inside a volcano? You can simulate it at home by simply shaking up a two liter of Pepsi and climbing into a cremation oven. Feels good, doesn't it? So, what do volcanoes actually do? Well, the Earth's blood sugar levels are usually a healthy 180 milligrams per deciliter, but sometimes they can drop. When this happens, volcanoes perform the essential task of sucking birds into the Earth in order to extract their nutrients and keep the planet healthy. But how do volcanoes form in the first place? Well, the Earth has a natural aversion to certain types of people. When these people die, the Earth will create a volcano in that location to cleanse itself. Pretty cool, right? And lastly, what about God? According to the Bible, the Earth's core is comprised of an elaborate system of tunnels that God has dug, much like a gopher. Our Lord spends most of his time lost within these fetid subterranean passages, crawling around on his stomach like an idiot. But sometimes he'll find his way to a volcano and stick his head out through the opening in order to try and figure out where he is. So, feeling scared yet? <laughs> well, I might have startled you, but volcanoes shouldn't. They're an essential part of Earth's ecosystem. To quote the late great Jane Goodall, everything in nature matters. Every plant, animal, and person has a role to play. One time, I chucked an ape into a volcano. So, do volcanoes exist? Well, it's impossible to say. I guess we'll just have to pray about it. Until next time, I've been David, and you just got attacked.